Halt. Serious intro alert. Serious intro alert. Hey guys, it's me, Smallish Jeans. Do you like them? Haha. <laughs> Wait, this is going to be a serious intro. Oh yeah, basically, I have started a subreddit for all the Jeremy's out there. It is r slash smallish beans. There'll be a link in the description and this will be a great place for the new Jeremyville billboard as I've been very bad at keeping up with Twitter and Instagram and I've missed quite a few, which is why I need this subreddit. So if you've got any Jeremyville billboards, please go post them on there. Any memes, any information, have a little chat with some other people, have a bit of discussion, do what you want. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, subscribe. Let's start the video. Go, 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 go. Welcome back to the wonderful world of X life in front of our big base here. I don't know why I'm trying to sing that. I can't sing, but you know what I can do? I can time lapse. Take it away, Lazy Beans 26. So I wanted to start off today by finishing the interior walls of the main section of the base. We completely covered all the walls in the white bricks that we have chosen to use and also added in like the bridges on the edge here, which I said I was going to do last episode, but just didn't get around to doing. So now it's all looking a bit neater. Plus, I finished off the upper level. And now everything's looking a lot better. You can kind of see where things are going to be going. It's looking good. I've still got the ring on, so I'm just going to fly up and show you. I also fixed the hexagon because I'm pretty sure it wasn't a proper hexagon, whereas now it's looking more like it. It's kind of dark in here still, though, so I need to add some more lights in. We're going to work on that at some point. But I noticed we have a board here on some trap doors. Mount Fwip Real Estate. Visitors that spawn to learn more. Okay, let's head to spawn. I'm guessing this is it over here. Okay. <laughs> What have you got here, Fwip? Mount Fwip Real Estate. Basically, it looks like Fwip is selling houses in his village. Access to local shops, villager trading, bufflon rides, access to wine tasting. That's just in the basic package. The deluxe package also includes access to ultimate mob farms. Oh my gosh, front row seats at the Coliseum. Guess we should request a view and let's grab a book. All right, I'll just put this in this barrel here. Hopefully Fwip sees that. Those aren't my diamonds. I hope he doesn't think they're mine. It's got an upstairs on this place. Can I move in there? Well, we're here. We may as well check on our sales. Make more, please, TY. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're out. Speaking of which, this is actually what we're going to work on this episode. We need to have a better source of warp scrolls. And to do that, we need a lot of sugar cane. So I'm going to make a sugar cane farm. Fairly simple to make. However, where are we going to put it? And I've been looking around the base and I know for certain that I'm going to have probably another layer up there of this like sort of weird octagon thing we've got going. And I think this section here would be perfect for automatic farms. If we could have like a cactus one here, a sugarcane one here, and then we'll have like a little greenhouse at the end, which will just look nice basically. But we need to work out how big this sugarcane farm is going to be because we want it to produce a lot of sugarcane. So we need a decent storage system as well. And luckily we have a lot of space, so we should be okay. So let me quickly think of the design because it's been a while since I've uh, made one of these. So I've gathered up a load of resources I believe I need here as I figured out how we do this. I'm missing a few, but we should have them in our chest area over there. Need to work out how this is gonna look still, but I think first let's actually get building the sugarcane farm. We just kind of need a chest along this front here where we'll be able to pick it all up. And I was also thinking if I go quickly find some, that it might be possible to make an automated farm out of this stuff. This stuff makes purple dye, which you need to make warp scrolls. And if you plant it in water, it will grow to too high. So if we could make like a machine that makes that automated as well, then we could just get automated warp scrolls and we'll be rolling in the diamonds. Oh, the base looks so good from just far out. It's mad. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. Sugar cane. I'll have to nab that when I make my machine. We've got our ring on now. Let's get to work building this thing. We're going to worry about making it look good after. First, let's actually just make it functional. Yay, my time lapse glitched out so you don't get to see the entire thing. But this is one of five we have to build. Okay, so after that nightmare of a time lapse, let me quickly show you how this thing works. We're going to have multiple chests. I know I could probably just have done this into one chest, but instead I thought it could look quite cool if I just had a row of chests here, which were all giving us sugar cane. Plus, we've got a lot of space. We may as well use it, you know. But as you can see here, we have sugar cane in here. When it reaches this level, the observers will set off these pistons, which will break the sugar cane. I can give you an example right now. You ready? Boom. There we go. It breaks them all. Minecart comes along, collects it in the hopper, puts it into this tube up here, and then it'll flow down 
into our hopper here and into our chests. Easy peasy. All we have to do now is make this another one, two, three, four, five, five times. Oh, why did I make so many? I don't know. Guess we uh, better get to work, eh? We'll time lapse this because this video is taking forever and I, I need content. Okay, I I'll, sh I'll try and make it fun in some way, I promise. So while you get to see me build this incredibly ugly and boring thing, look at me. Look, I'm waving in the corner. How fun is that? Wow, isn't that so fun? and really well green screened as you can see by the glow around the outside of me definitely not really badly green screened anyway look at that the build's over wow it was really quick and really good ha uh, yes it is ugly yes it is loud but who cares it is functional look at this thing so you can hear the minecarts down here zoom in away collecting all my sugarcane if it falls which there probably isn't any right now but it has been working while i've been afking here we've got 47 in this 51 in this, 57 in this, and 60 in this. So already after like, I think it's been about 20 minutes, we've already got more than, more than four stacks of sugarcane. And let me put this ring away. Remember I said we're going to use this sort of pickle weed thing? I want to run a few experiments because I'm not sure if I can be bothered to make an automated thing for this, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Firstly, can you bone meal this? Oh, you can. Whoa, and it grows around? Okay. Interesting. So that's kind of useful, but also kind of annoying. We'll keep some and we can use it just in case. But Lizzie's flower mod, pretty sure, will do the same thing. However, better. Because it won't grow a load of them around, etc. Is this purple? I think this is purple. That's magenta. All right, is there purple? Pretty sure there's purple ones, right? Is there not? Wait, there's not? They only give magenta? Okay, well, that's not gonna work. It was a nice idea because you can just bone mill these flowers, right? Like this, and just keep getting them really easily. But there's no purple, it's magenta. Hmm, and you can't bone mill alliums, which makes vanilla flowers completely useless. So it's gonna have to be the pickle weeds, which is a shame, but we can probably work with it. And I thought of a great location. Also, why is there a cow? in my Jeremy field. Have we still got all three deer? Bianca? Sandra? What is going on? There's a cow? Where's my third deer? And a sheep? How did this happen? Where's my other deer? Has someone captured deer Jeremy? Why are they named Bianca and Sandra? Someone's playing a prank on me. What about my frog? Is my frog still here? Yeah, he's still chilling over here. He's still called Flat Jeremy, aka Jumper Jeremy. But where's my third deer gone? Why has it disappeared? I'm being replaced by a sheep and a cow. Who is this? Let me know in the comments because I will get them back. I'm gonna have to do some detective work myself. I need to wait. Please. Please. Bill! Bill! I am... I am disgusted. No, actually, wait. Wait. Let me in. Let me in. Oh. Wait, what? My panda's dead. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, right. Well, I am shocked and astounded that my animals have been renamed like this. This is, as it says on the sign, Jeremyville. Not Billville, or Sandraville, or Biancaville. Who did this? Who did this? I will find out and I will destroy them. Mess with me all you want. Mess with my Jeremy's. No, that is the end of your life. Tell me who it is and I will kill them by force. I'm just kidding, I won't kill them. Or will I? Maybe I will. Probably won't. But I might. But I probably won't. But I could. But actually I couldn't because PvP is off. But I would if I could. There we go, that one's true. Well, we'll rename them in a second. We got a load of name tags still somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So this is my idea, right? We'll take this pickleweed. Don't know why I keep pronouncing it like that. And we're going to... Wait, my fish. Please don't tell me. <gasps> what? I, honestly, I am disgusted and I feel violated. That one's called Jeremy Still. That one's called Jeremy Still. This is like Arthas, Jaina... Lemon. Where are my jellyfish? They're gone. Well, they might have died, but I, I'm actually disgusted. I, I, I feel violated. I feel like I need to go have a bath after this. This is this is horrible. I, I'm struggling to concentrate right now, guys. But my basic idea was we're going to have a little grass bit in the middle here where we can grow all these. We'll design the room around it and then we'll be able to bone mill this and 
get a load of purple dye at the same time as we're, you know, getting our sugar cane. So that's the idea. I'm genuinely so upset. My Jeremy's, this is, this is like, this is the last straw. I don't know who has made it, but, or the first straw, but well, where's my name tags? I feel ill. I feel betrayed. This may be the worst thing that's happened to me on the server so far, and I've been sued. My ender chest is stuck open, what the heck? That means everyone else can break in. I can't believe one of my deer has gone missing. But let's fix the other two. Jeremy's, it's okay. Take, yes, Jeremy, Jeremy, and you as well. Bianca to Jeremy. <sighs> Okay. Peace is being restored right now. No, I'm not looking at his name. There we go. There we can look now. Donkey Jeremy. I missed you. I missed you. Oh. Donkey Jeremy, I missed you so much. I miss everything about you. Oh, hello. Okay, we can we can breathe slightly. I'm not too worried about the fish right now. Wait, what about my watchers? How are my watcher willies doing? Please tell me. Please tell me these guys haven't been renamed. No! Ah! Oh! Watcher willy freak. Bert. Bert. What kind of name is Bert for a Watcher? It isn't, that's why I named him Watcher Willy One. Rename all these guys to Jeremy as well. There we go, that's better. I'm remembering how to breathe again now. I'd be okay with it if the animal had no name, but you can't rename a Jeremy. A Jeremy is for life, not just for Christmas. Wait, what about the animals over by Lizzie? Please, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. We need to get homes for these guys soon. We've just left them here for so long. Anyway, now that that's over for now, it's time we actually made this thing look a bit nicer because we need a pretty place for our sugarcane, okay? Sugarcane is important to me and it needs to look nice. So let's cut to Lazy Beans, who's going to take it away with a time lapse, an amazing time lapse, which is going to be building this. Go. Why am I still talking? Just go time lapse now. I'm really liking this whole sort of marble and spruce look we've had going in the other part of the base. So I decided to carry that on here with some spruce chests, some marble pillars, and also this lovely central section here where we've got the grass that I was talking about. Now I'm actually not going to add a full roof on top of this thing. Instead, we're just going to have like a balcony because I feel like something really cool could go up there. I just don't know what yet. I am really happy with this. I think this all fits in rather nicely. Look at this. So here is the staircase here. I'm not sure about this yet and it might need to sort of alter this a bit. It looks a bit chunky in comparison to everything else but I was thinking maybe up here we could have something interesting. Maybe some villager trading or something like that. We could have loads of villagers up here. I'm sure there'd be space. Although I was thinking of actually breaking through here and having another level up here and having the villagers up there. I think that might be a bit better. We've got a bit more space up there. I need to think of something to go up here. But I really like the like but I really like this look with like the spruce and the marble and the planks. I think it goes really well together. Look at all the sugar cane we got rolling in, by the way. These chests have been filling up. I say filling up. We've nearly got two stacks from each now from just sitting here. I also brought over a load of bone meal. So now we can just do this like so, then go do 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 do. Not the easiest, but it's better than going out and finding it, I guess. So you can get quite a lot of purple pickle weed quite quickly that way. It doesn't take too long. And speaking of which, let's take our sugar cane now that we've got so far. Let's see how many warp scrolls we've made within this time. There's gotta be a better way of doing this when I think about it, but this isn't too bad. We get quite a lot quite quickly. Wait, the lilac plants give purple? Oh my gosh. Okay, we could actually use Lizzie's plants. Keep these here for decoration. But this is so much easier and I can actually use the hoe with nature's blessing and look how many flowers I can get. I get a lot of seeds as well, which I could always convert to bone meal. But if I just stand here for a while, I could just hold the right mouse down. Look at this. Look how easy this is. All the purple dye. I might make a never star hoe. <laughs> just like that. Stack of lilac, all that purple dye. Oh, I get even more if I do it this way. Look at this. Oh, hello. And we got a few stacks of warp scrolls there, but obviously this is going to be a thing that we get a load of sugarcane over time. I might just store the seeds in the bottom of here for now. And I'll just restock the shop with three stacks. I know it's not enough. I need to add more in. Also, while we're here, we're at Diamond Designs. I think, yeah, Callum dropped off like... 300 diamonds and basically said we can go build whatever we want and he's given us 300 diamonds which is mad. I don't know what we're going to do with that. But slowly we are working on improving the interior of this base. Like I said at the start of last video I just had no idea what I was going to do with it but it's all really coming together now. I think this bit here is going to look really cool when you can walk through 
and you've got the open ceiling and go through to the greenhouse section here. I think there's lots of wildlife and plants and stuff that are going to look really cool. I think we might do a cactus farm on this side just because it would be nice to have some cacti for green dye as that's one of the hardest dyes to get. But first, I want to spend some of my diamonds. I'm not going to spend them in the shopping district. Oh, no, no, no. But I am going to head to the shopping district. Joel, what are you chatting? Let me show you. This is it. This is what we're going to be putting up around spawn. Wanted hater of Jeremy. If you have any information on the scum who has been renaming Jeremy's, then please contact Smallish Beans immediately. Reward 50 diamonds. We need to make a few of these. Stick them around spawn and catch this disgusting human. But first, we actually need to buy some more picture frames. We actually have to buy some stuff from Scott first. I hope it's not him. What the heck is that noise? Oh my gosh. As I was saying, I hope it's not him. That is the one that has been renaming our stuff. We'll buy some frames off him. Let's place these up around spawn. And let's place a few of these around spawn. Shubble has got this adorable sign in front of her Buttercup Bakery. That is so cute. Also, correction, it was Scott who actually did all the things at spawn, which looked nice. I'm sorry for not crediting him correctly. All right, we put a decent amount of these signs down now. I hope whoever comes to spawn will see them and we find out what has been going on here. I don't care about the diamonds. I just want this to be over with. While I'm here, Lizzie's not got any of her rugs left apart from the animals one. She needs to restock her rugs. However, I want to encourage Lizzie that her shop is good. So I'm going to buy some roses. Cyan will go with my build. There's only two Cyan, but you know what? I'll buy them. Guys, I'm sorry. I've been appalled by people this episode and I think it's changed my attitude towards this server. I thought we were all friends, but no. Obviously, someone hates me because if they knew me, they would never do this to me. You're probably thinking, Joel, you're being overdramatic. Yes, I am. I'm very overdramatic when it comes to my Jeremy's. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we actually have time for today. That sugarcane farm took quite a long time. Actually, I need to move my life book before we actually end this video to a place we can access it easier. as right here, because we don't really use this house anymore. I need to move my hell shelves as well. I haven't done any enchanting in a while, though. I'm going to put this... I'm going to put the life book up here. Let's have a quick update. 32 hours. Half a stack all the way through the five heart club already but thank you so much for watching this video if you have any clues make sure to head to the reddit i'll be checking it out i just want to know what is going on with the jeremy's okay please update me thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and comment subscribe if you're new and i shall see you another time goodbye